Today we're out here in the Southern Mali near Lamaru, a high work rate plant. Um, now, originally this plant was set up and designed to do 100% burial. So we optimised disc angles and uh, disc configurations and other components on the play to do that uh, burial of the non-wetting surface layer to get rid of all that non-wetting sand. But today out here, this farm we're looking at is mixing capabilities. So uh, the farm has been delving here. It, now we're uh, using the plow to try and mix some of that clay together with the sand that's from the surface. So we're changing some of the disc settings and some of the angles and, and seeing if we can uh, change its performance characteristics. So this has probably been a, a problematic like sandy rise on this small paddock here and um, yeah so I'm just making a um, bit of a jump at delving and soil amelioration and yeah just knew uh, this plough was around and thought that it could be a good option for mixing the clay and um, hopefully trying to you know, find something that's a bit more cost effective than some of the other alternatives for incorporating clay and for challenging soils and potentially even using it on some soils that haven't been delved or clay spread to see if we can resolve it straight up with one pass. So spading's an option we've got, but uh, we've, you know, looking at these options here because of the, you know, the higher work rate of this plough, so hopefully uh, we can improve the, you know, the cost and efficiency of incorporating it. Realistically, um, you know, this seems to be doing a pretty good job at the moment, so for, you know, the first few hectares it's been pretty impressive. We're working down to 400 millimetres deep here in this paddock, and you can see it's not 100% burial, but it's uh, mixing that deeper sand layer and the deeper clay with the surface material. At this point, we'll um, run our steel rollers over it to sew it. Um, but obviously the, well, the machine's got in the pipeline too, the, the potential to be able to uh, plow and sew at the same time. Um, and even at the moment with no rain for the last month, we'd probably get a crop established on this. So this is probably a pretty good example of um, great collaboration between, you know, farmers, researchers and GRDC funding the project. The machine is, uh, you know, it's great to see, you know, the mines all work together and, you know, develop something from an existing product. John Shearer, um, you know, they've been great that they've um, jumped on board and having a crack at getting this up and going and, you know, it'll be great to see them out in the world, you know, hopefully very soon.